Respected views of Bandarin Channel, we once again welcome you in our program, Background of Quranic Revelations. In this program, we select one ayah from the Holy Quran and we discuss its background. We discuss its sabab of nuzul, the reason of its revelation. Why or when was it revealed? Today, we have selected a beautiful verse from the Holy Quran, Surah Al An'am, verse number 118. Before we proceed towards our topic of the day, let's make a few good intentions. As my Shaykh Tariqat, Amir of Ahl Sunnah, Hazrat Alama, Maulana, Muhammad, Ilyas, Attar, Qadri. Tamat Barakatum al Aliyah has given us a beautiful mindset that we should make good intentions before we perform any permissible task or any good deed. As I am presenting this program, I make this intention, I will present it for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're watching this program, you can make this intention, you will watch from start to end. You'll remember what you learn, act upon, and pass this knowledge on to others too. I would urge if you could request your family members, children to come and sit in front of Madani Channel's TV screen and watch this very short, brief program from start to end with focus. Inshallah, end of this program, you would realize how much you would have learned. Respected viewers, today we have selected 118 verse from Surah Al An'am. Let's listen its recitation first. فَكُلُوا مِمَّا ذُكِرَ اسْمُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ بِآيَاتِهِ مُؤْمِنِينَ Translation So eat from that upon which the name of Allah has been pronounced if you believe in his verses. Respected viewers, hear the word فَكُلُوا So eat Meaning Eat the animal that has been slaughtered on the name of Allah Almighty. The animal that dies a natural death or is slaughtered on the name of idols is haram. The lawfulness of an animal is linked to being slaughtered on the name of Allah Almighty. What is its historical background? When was this ayah revealed? If we talk about the suburb of Nuzul, the reason of its revelation, the polytheists would object to the Muslims saying that you eat what you slaughter, kill yourself, but deem haram what Allah kills, i.e. the animals that die a natural death. This verse was revealed as a response to this objection. It was stated that, that which is slaughtered on the name of Allah Almighty is halal and that which is not slaughtered on his name is haram. As for the objection of the disbelievers that what we slaughter ourselves is halal and the animal dying in natural death is by Allah Almighty. So why is the animal killed by Allah Almighty haram? The objection is completely baseless. Because the animal slaughtered by a person and the one that meets a natural death, both are given death by Allah, the Almighty. So, differentiating on these bases is absolutely wrong. That one animal is slaughtered by us while the other is by Allah Almighty. As for why is one halal and the other haram, this is command of Allah Almighty. He is the creator and the owner. He may command as he wills. Moreover, this is also a form of revering his blessed name. That the animal slaughtered on his name is halal while the other is haram. Respecting viewers, 
This implies to infer that believing in the verses of Quran warrants us to consider halal what Allah has declared halal and act upon it. And consider haram what Allah has declared haram and refrain from it. On the authority of Sayyidina Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala and the final messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said the Holy Quran was revealed briefly in five types of speech. Halal, haram, and equivocal mutashabihat and examples. Therefore, consider halal as halal, haram as haram, act upon the unequivocal and embrace faith upon, believe in the mutashabihat and take heed from the examples. The Prophet sallallahu said, he who considers things declared haram by the Quran as halal does not believe in the Quran. So respected viewers of Brother Nishan, Today, from this beautiful verse of the Holy Quran, one thing we learn that whatever has been declared halal is halal and whatever has been declared haram is haram. This is how we need to believe. We should not go into the logics because sometimes we don't understand. Our intellect cannot comprehend. Right? Maybe there is logic behind that. And even if there is uh, no understanding of any logic what our intellect cannot comprehend, we should yet believe because it is the hukum of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For us to believe anything, to act upon, this is enough that this is the hukum, this is the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the beautiful verses of the Holy Quran, which also tells us when we look at the, its meaning, then we understand anything we do is we do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's one of the reasons when we slaughter an animal, we mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the time of slaughtering. That's very important because whatever we do, we do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This beautiful dua, uh, which is part of the Hudi Quran also, Inni wajjahtu wajhiya lilladhi fatara samawati wal arda hanifan wa ma ana minal mushrikeen. Subhanallah. And what is its meaning? I have turned my face towards him who has created the heavens and the earth, devoting solely to him, and I am not from amongst the polytheists. Undoubtedly, my salah, meaning prayer, my sacrifices, my living and my dying are all for Allah, who is the Lord of all the worlds. So this is what should recite. And when we recite this, we are again uh, reminding ourselves that whatever we do, we do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether it is our sacrifice, whether it is our salah, whether it is our charity, we are giving in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything we do, we do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And further in this dua, this is mentioned, La sharika lahu wa bi thalika umirtu wa ana minal muslimin. Meaning, he has no partner. This is what I have been commanded and I am one of the Muslims. And then further, it is said that at the time of slaughtering an animal, one should say, Allahumma laka wa minka bismillahi Allahu akbar. Which means, O oh Allah Azza wa for you only and by virtue of the ability bestowed by you in the name of Allah, I begin with Allah Azza wa is the greatest. And this is the beautiful dua which is recited at the time of slaughtering an animal. Respecting views of Padri Shalom, I hope you must have learned a lot from this episode. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us ability and tawfiq and understanding the true meanings of the Holy Quran. And may Allah give us tawfiq that we act upon too. That's all for today. We'll be back with another beautiful episode, inshallah, with another beautiful message from the Holy Quran. Until next time, keep watching Madani channel. Keep reciting Salat upon Nabi, alayhi salatu wa taslim. Sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ta'ala, ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Quran.